if you haven't run into this in your Studio One adventures, you probably will at some point. So let's talk about unwanted tempo changes in Studio One, meaning we've got particular files or a whole song that's changing tempos and we didn't tell it to. And so we're confused. We think maybe it's a glitch. It's not a glitch. We just got to understand how tempo information works in Studio One. My name's Joe Gilder. Let's dive into it. Here is Studio One. Let me open just a blank new song. So I'm going to go to Record and Mix. I'm going to start a new song. And one of the first things you got to know is, depending on the size of this window, if this window is kind of small, mine tends to default to about this size. You might notice that there are some settings you can't see. And one of those settings is this one right here. Stretch audio files to tempo. This basically sets as the default tempo setting for audio tracks, whether or not they follow the tempo or, or not. Why would we want this to happen? If you were bringing in a loop that's 100 BPM and your song is 105 BPM and you want that loop to change tempo, to stretch to 105, by having this selected, it will do that by default. There are a, a couple of exceptions and things where this can get a little confusing. I like to leave this off because that's not typically my workflow. You can always turn this on on a per track basis, but generally speaking, I don't want to. When I bring audio files in, I don't want them to change at all. I want them to remain exactly the same, so I leave this off. So, by the way, if you're having that experience, you've brought a track in and it's sped up or slowed down, and you don't want it to, we'll talk about how to make sure that doesn't happen. So let's say I turn the stretch to audio, audio bleh, stretch audio files to tempo off. And I'm going to create this new song. Now let's go into Finder, and I've got this song called Fighter. Let's listen to it here. Okay, that's what it sounds like. Let's come into our song here, and let's just set it something ridiculous. Like uh, I said, it's a 300 BPM tempo, just just for demonstration. So I'm going to drag this song into Studio One. Let's hit play and see if it's way faster or if it's the same. Okay, it's the same. So the question is, why is it the same? Why is it not following the tempo of the song? There's a couple of settings that you can change if you want certain tracks to follow the tempo. So we're going to press F4 on the keyboard or click the I here for Inspector. And that's going to open up this section. And we can change these top two settings here are the ones you want to look at. If you want this to move with the tempo, you've got to tell it how you want it to do that. First option is don't follow, where you say do never, ever, 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 ever follow the tempo. That's typically where I leave things most of the time because I typically don't want my audio files to move with the tempo on them to stay like they are. If I did want this to follow the tempo, then I would have to use time stretch. So time stretch means if you're not at the correct tempo, change yourself to be at that correct tempo. And then when time stretching is happening, what do we do with that? We can set it to... Uh, the correct algorithm, which it shouldn't be drums for this. It's like a polyphonic sound. We should set it to the sound setting. So now if I hit play, we've set it to f time stretch. We've set the right algorithm. The tempo is at 300, which is obviously not the tempo of the song. Let's see what happens when we hit play. It did not change. Pourquoi? Why? Why did that not change? change. That may be the thing you're asking yourself. Or maybe you have the opposite experience. You've got all these things set you thought correctly, but it's changing and you don't want it to. Here's what's happening. This particular piece of audio, this wave file, doesn't have any tempo information baked into it. There's no tempo metadata. If we right click on this, we can see file tempo not set. So where does that information come from? Well, it's actually part of the export process if you're in Studio One. If I go to export a mix down, one of the checkboxes, export mix down is uh, control E on the PC, command E on the Mac. One of the um, export options is to write the tempo to the audio file. So whether I'm exporting a mix down or multi-track stems or what, it, there's the debate, shouldn't say stems. Anyway, multi-track files of the song, this will write the tempo to those tracks. It doesn't change the sound of the tracks in any way. It's just if they are imported into a system that is also taking those tracks and changing them to match the tempo of the new system, that's when things can change. So if I export my song at 120, and I have the audio tempo, the, the tempo written to the audio file in the form of metadata, when you bring that song into your session that's at 200 BPM, it's going to speed it way up, unless you deselect that option for it to follow. So what we're going to do here, if, if we right click on this, you can actually change this within Studio One. So I can say, hey, this default tempo should be 120. You'll notice as soon as I entered that, things moved around up here. And if we hit play, let's just see what happens. <laughs> 
Okay, now we're hearing that song at 300 BPM, if assuming that 120 was the correct starting tempo. So it's just doing basic math to speed up and slow down the audio to match the tempo, and then it has to use an algorithm to do that, which is why we select the algorithm over here. So if you find you're bringing tracks in, and you want them to move and they're not moving, it might be because they don't have a default tempo set to them. So you'll have to figure that out. If you got the tracks from someone else, you may have to come in and literally like ask them what the tempo was and then add the tempo here and then you can change things around. That's kind of the reverse. I'm showing this backwards because the main problem I see a lot of people having when they have questions about this is they're bringing tracks in and the tracks are changing tempo and they don't want them to. So how do we do that? Let's assume that's what we did here. We brought this track in to mix. We hit play and... Like, well, that's not right. Um, or maybe the opposite happens. You hit play and you think, goodness gracious, maybe your default tempo here is 80. And you hit play on this and it's going. It's real, real slow. What do we do? Well, depending on how you have it set up, if you set this to the right tempo, that could maybe solve it. But if you wanted to just not mess with the tempo of the file at all, you come over here, you select the track. You can do this to multiple tracks too, by the way. If I duplicate this track a bunch, we can click the bottom one, hold down shift, click the top one so they're all selected, and we can tell this to please do not follow the tempo. Please, for the love of all that is holy, don't follow the tempo in this song. Now, if I listen to this, and now I can do anything I want to tempo-wise. Uh, I can come in here and add tempo automation if I want, go up to 310 come back down to 80. Things move around. It's not because the tempo is changing, it's just trying to match things up visually. But now if I hit play here. So all these tempo changes are not being applied to this. They would be applied to, let's say, some MIDI tracks that were following the tempo, or if there were other tracks. I can't imagine why I would want some tracks to follow and some not. But just wanted to demonstrate, this song is now not following this tempo. If I change it back to time stretch, it will follow and it will sound weird, especially with the tempo automation. Right, it's just bonkers. That is what happens. So you bring things in, it shouldn't, it's changing tempos and you don't mean for it to. As long as you don't need it to follow the tempo ever, which for a lot of people is the case, just set that to don't follow, hit play, everything should be good. Another likely case where this happens is, let's say your default mixing template is set to like the default 120 BPM, and you start mixing a song that's, let's say at, you know, let's say it's at 150 BPM. And as you're mixing, you realize, man, I'd like to add like a sync, a synctified, <laughs> I almost said synctified, a, a delay that is synced up to the tempo. Oh, but I forgot to set the tempo of the song. And you may just go tap the tempo in. Let's see if we can find the tempo for this song. <laughs> Okay, so tempo's around 135. If you did that with the this not turned off, then you would be changing the tempo of the song, which would change the tempo of the files. And you would say, oh no, I've ruined my entire mix. I'm sure that's happened to somebody. All you gotta do is make sure that this is turned off. Let me show you that again. Let's set the tempo back to the default 120. And let's say we, we accidentally had this set to time stretch. And we're in here listening. And we go to tap the tempo, which you can do, by the way, by just tapping on this letter T or the tempo down here, just tapping that word with click, click, click to the tempo. If you do that, then this is what would happen. I, I, I don't wanna see. Every time you click it, it takes four clicks to register the tempo. Um, now it's at 153 and it's just ruined everything. You can easily say, oh, I ruined everything. We just select all the tracks in our session. We come up here, we say, please do not follow. We hit play. I broke it. Why is this one? Oh. Apparently only one was following, so I gotta tell that one not to follow. But if they were all set, if you went through and saw they were all set to the wrong thing, then you could select them all. That should change that the way I did it, but it didn't. But now when we hit play, and no matter what, no matter what we do the tempo now, Nothing's happening to the audio. The audio itself remains unfazed. So there you go. Hopefully you've not run into that from a headache factor, but now you know if you have something acting a little funny and you weren't expecting it, hopefully that gives you a place to solve that problem and get back to your music. Thanks for watching. See ya.